Here's that word again. Heavy. Why are things so heavy in that future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravity? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today I'm going to be watching a movie called Back to the Future. I'm sure everybody knows what movie I'm talking about. This is a classic film. It's got Michael J. Fox in it. It's got Christopher Lloyd. We all love those guys. And this film was released in 19... 85. I've actually seen this movie a few times, but I was a child, so I don't remember the conflict in this movie. I really remember Marty and I really remember Doc as characters because I, as an adult, watch Rick and Morty and I absolutely love Rick and Morty and I know that Rick and Morty are based off Marty McFly and Doc. I remember enjoying the film, so I have no doubts that I will enjoy it again. I think what'll be interesting in this viewing as an adult will be the Easter eggs. And if it jogs my memory, I think that'll be cool. The details, the conflict, the resolution, the plot. As I said, I don't remember. So whilst it's not a first time viewing, I do have a really, really bad memory. And I did watch this as a kid a few times. So it'll be like when I watched the Pirates of the Caribbean one and two. And when I watched Deadpool, I feel like I'll probably understand more references maybe in this film. There'll probably be some moments where I'm like, oh yeah, mate, that happened. Or maybe that won't happen at all. Cause I have a very, very bad memory. And you guys know this about me, but regardless, I'm really excited to get into this because I do remember like, it as a kid. I do love the fact that Rick and Morty are based off the two main characters because Rick and Morty always have fun and hilarious adventures and I'm keen to watch this as an adult. So before we get into the reaction though, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version and that's going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. Down in the description bar in the pinned comments, you can also find all of my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. So guys, let's jump into this classic Back to the Future. Whoever this person's room is, they're a clockaholic. Oh my God. Oh, that's delightful, isn't it? Plutonium? He's got the plutonium? It wasn't the Libyan terrorists? What is he up to? Hmm, that just sounds lovely, doesn't it? What the heck? Why does it have to be that big? Why is that necessary? Because you really want to be hearing that white... Oh! That white noise is what I was going to say. He's made a lot of inventions so far that aren't amazing. Rock and roll, dude. 1.15 in the morning? What's in the morning? On? That's Where a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Man, these clocks are freaking me out. Oh no! Oh, the 80s music, okay. Burger King, we call that Hungry Jacks in Australia, if you guys didn't know that. Oh, check out people working out in the 80s. He's a good skater. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. Tardies? The heck is a tardy? Tardy slip for you, Miss Parker. Oh, tardy slip or tardies. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. That's cruel. What a mean teacher. I'm rooting for you, pal. Hey, not bad at all. She likes it. Why does the guy second to the left look like John Hamm? Why does he look like John Hamm? Poor guy. He really is. Tapes. Put your mind to it, you can accomplish it. In front of her? <laughs> My mom thinks I'm going camping with the guy. Oh. I think the woman was born a nun. <laughs> She's just trying to keep you respectable. She's not doing a very good job. <laughs> all right, all right. Lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. Lots of foreshadowing. I love you. Ooh. Biff. Biff. Uh, can I, what a can name. I Who's gonna pay for this? I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's gonna pay my cleaning bill? Oh my god. Petty as. Well, well, he's so rude. Wow. Oh, his poor dad. Would you? His dad's just I laughing it off. That to happen. I'll uh, finish those reports on up tonight and I'll run them on over first thing tomorrow, all right? Run them on over first thing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? Butthead, wow. Great insult. Your mom for me. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. What the hell is up with the mom? Major embarrassment having an uncle in prison. It's a pretty judgmental family. <laughs> 
What? Who laughs like that? Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. What? So old school. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy or that. <laughs> And how am I supposed to ever meet anybody? Just wait forever. I met your father. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> kind of logic is that? Then none of you would have been born. I feel like that's going to come back. None of you would have been born. My father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. And I realized I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Aww. <laughs> I just can't get over the dad's laugh. It's just, it's just weird. Just slept with his clothes on. Oh, it's almost 1.15. No. He should have just stayed up. I guess he's not used to staying up that late. Is he? He's late. 1.16. I reckon every minute counts when we're talking about time travel. <laughs> Einstein's head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The car. Out of time. <laughs> BMC. Ooh. So smoky. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a character. All your questions will be answered. Roll tape. <laughs> He's so much like Rick. It's crazy. Well, Rick's like him, obviously. Reinstein? He's like, what's going on? Remote control car. I wonder if that actually exists today. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious Move. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Marty was like, oh my God, we're going to die. <laughs> so excited. I'm so happy for him. You disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> He's always yelling. So what what will that mean? Where will he turn up? Oh, there. I was like, where is he going to turn up? Literally right in front of him. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened to the car? It looks frozen. Is Einstein frozen? That does not look safe. Do they just sacrifice their dog? He looks fine. Is he cold though? Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind. It's still ticking. Yay! That's why clocks are just such a big thing in his life. He's been obsessed with this. I'll show you how it works. <laughs> I'd still be really scared and hesitant to jump in the car. 25th of December. Well, I mean, his his birthday wasn't actually 25th. November 5th, 1955. Remember, remember the 5th of November? That was the day I invented time travel. I remember it vividly. This is what makes time travel possible. What the heck? Flux capacitor. Oh, his eyes. This is, uh, this is heavy duty. Doc. Does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Plutonium. Oh, that's why you had the plutonium. The sucker is nuclear. Hey, hey. That's hey, people, really people, scary. You don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Hmm, yeah, you, you steal it. It's like, of course. From a group of Libyan nationalists. They want me to build them a bomb. In turn, gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. Come on, let's get you a radiation. System. <laughs> He's so chaotic. That is insane. I can see why Rick Sanchez was based on Doc now. 25 yeah. years. I'll also be able to see who wins the next 25 World Series. Oh, Doc. yeah, dude, you'd be so rich. You could gain your family's uh, fortune up. back. I almost forgot to bring extra plutonium. How did I ever expect to get that? So funny. Ha ha ha. Who's that? The Lib Wait, is it the Lib Libyans, maybe? Maybe the Libyans found out. The Libyans! Yes! Oh my god. Okay, you need to travel to the future right now. This is so rogue, though. Oh my god. What? Huh? Oh, I know. He's just got to save the doc before this happens. The doc is literally dead. I hope he knows exactly what point in the past to go to, though. I think the car was set to the future because the doc wanted to go 30 years into the future. Very stressful right now. I don't know how he's going to setting the correct time while this is all happening. Holy crap. Is that a rocket launcher? It would be the worst luck if they hit the rocket launcher before it hit 80 miles per hour. There. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's a scarecrow. Did its job. Looks like an airplane. Airplane with that. <gasps> they don't know what a no airplane. You gotta know what a car is, surely? How do they not know what a car is if they know what an airplane is? <laughs> Take your bloody mask off, mate. Oh. They think he's an alien? 
Oh, Peabody, the pine tree dude, the doctor was talking about. Everything that's mentioned before the time travel in the beginning of the movie, I feel like they're going to travel to these places. Like they're little Easter eggs, all of the stuff that was talked about before the time traveling. Lion Estate. That is completely empty though. Nothing's been built. Look at the cars. So yeah, cars do exist. I guess they just never saw a car like Marty's. They all look like that olden day looking car. Plutonium. Oh no, they probably had no time because of the Libyans. What is he going to do? Like his doctor's dead and he's just got no plutonium. He's going to have to find it somehow. Mr. Sad Man. I like this song. The clock tower that the lady was talking about in the beginning of the film. 1954. Five. So they went back 30 years because it's 1985 that they were at, which means his parents aren't together. They're young at hey, least. Kid, what's with the life preserve? <laughs> life, <laughs> life jacket. Wait, Emmett Brown. Right. Okay, well, he did say he spent 30 years. It's a little bit premature to be talking about it. What do you think you're doing? Hey, it's him again. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, oh hey, that's hey, his guys. dad. Hello. Oh, Anybody it's been doing that for 30 years. You realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? I'll get kicked out of school. Look at the way he talks. But you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Literally the same conversation that they've had 30 years later. What are you looking at, butthead? Butthead. He hasn't changed at all. <sighs> He's such a jock. Which is funny because his character in Freaks and Geeks was literally a jock. PE teacher. How scary to see your dad as a young bloke. You're George McFly. <laughs> Right? Yourself. I agree. I'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Literally. One day I'm going to be somebody. That's right. He's Good. Be really? That's mayor. that's the future mayor, the the Wilson dude? Hey, dad. George. Dad, dad. <laughs> Today if you if you called someone dad, it'd probably just think that you're hitting on them. <laughs> what the heck? He's a pervert. Oh, oh, the car. Oh my gosh. Oh, you just stopped the car accident because he was bird watching and he runs away. Another one? On he's here. done it before? Oh, this is, this is bad. That means he's not going to exist, right? Oh, it's his mom. My, mom. Mm. my name is Lorraine. Mm. Lorraine Bates. This but is you're bad. You're so uh, young, yeah. hot, thin, thin. So, Jesus. Or my pants. Why are and they off? Chest? What? I've never seen purple underwear before. This now. is so weird. Why do you keep calling me Calvin? Calvin Klein? Oh my God. It's all over your underwear. <laughs> well, I guess they call you Cal. Huh? No Why is she looking at his underwear? Why is she Klein? doing this? I thought she was so innocent by the way she was talking in the dinner table earlier. Girls shouldn't do this and girls shouldn't do that. Meanwhile, look at her. She's a hussy. You're a sailor, aren't you? That's why you wear that life preserver. Life preserver. Or his uncles and aunts. You're my uncle Joey. Gotta get used to these bars, kid. <laughs> That's funny. He cries whenever we take him out, so we just leave him in there all the time. Checks right, out, huh? First television set. Dad just picked it up today. That's the way she talks. You have a television? Funny. Yeah, you know we have two of them. You must be rich. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, wow. It's a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. Hey, don't say you things like that. Brand new. Yeah, don't yeah, say things out. like that. Do I know your mother? Yeah, I think maybe you do. <laughs> it's John F. Kennedy drive. Why is he saying things mother? like this? John F. Kennedy and happened and after 1955, and for sure. And he can sleep in my room. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thanks very much. We're all great. Uh, see you all later. Wow. This mom is a hypocrite. She is a downright hypocrite. I wonder how the doc's going to look. Doc? Whoa. <laughs> Doc, I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know anything about Hey, another Doc. dog. What the heck is he up I'm to? I need your thoughts. Need your help to get back to the year 1985. <laughs> <laughs> You've shaken his world up. It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. Who's president of the United States? Ronald Reagan. The actor? <laughs> <laughs> Who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. 
He listens. Active listener. <laughs> His eyes. I just love the doc's eyes. They're like... Always like this. It's always in shock. Constant state of shock. Oh, God, I still got my hair. <laughs> I wonder your president has to be an actor. He's got to look good on television. <laughs> Is that coming out? <laughs> what did I just say? Gigawatts? 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> <laughs> His reactions are just so funny. <laughs> doing <laughs> he's so expressive I'm afraid you're stuck whoa in. don't say that the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning we do now the clock tower see little <laughs> easter eggs that just come through the into the movie we're sending you back to the future <laughs> or the present <laughs> He said the title of the movie, everybody. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Okay. Mm, he's kind of done a lot of damage so far, I'd say. Oh, no. Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. Oh. His head's gone. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like it's been erased. It's so scary. You messed up, bro. You messed Whoa. up. You saved your dad. Oh. This is just painful to watch. Oh. It's so sad to witness. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Oh no. How's your head? Oh my god. Oh my god. Has <laughs> got the hots for me. Precisely. Or for her jeans. There's that word again. Heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the earth? Perfect. When you're writing things, fiction stories about oh. uh, visitors. He's a smart dude. To Earth. He's a bit of a dork, but I never let anybody read my story. Why? No, not hard at all. Oh, because he's a musician, so he relates. What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. Oh. Biff gives me rapey vibes. Ew. I'm not that kind of girl. Tell him, sis. Oh. This is Oh, you shouldn't have done that. She's going to fall in love with you more, dude. If you do not ask Lorraine to that dance, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. But I can't go to the dance. I'll miss my favorite television program, oh, Science my. Fiction Theater. He didn't just say that. He didn't just say that. Van Halen. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh. My name is Darth Vader. Well, this is a method. From the planet Vulcan. Uh. <laughs> Nice. Darth Vader came to Darth the planet Vulcan and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Oh! Uh, uh, let's, let's oh. This. Jesus, George, I was wondering if I was even born. What? What? Uh, uh, Alan, that she is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in the world. Don't write it down. Make it natural. So cute that his dad needs help with confidence and he's getting it from his son. Like, what a concept. Give me a milk. Chocolate. A milk? Ch okay, chocolate milk cheese he's such a dork now he's gonna have milk breath oh no the notebook dude my density has popped me to you my dent city destiny bro I mean. i'm george george mcfly i'm george george mcfly and i'm your density oh no he's gonna have to stand up for himself right now <laughs> Seth. oh Marty just keeps getting involved and he's just doing... Oh no, oh see? God. He's making things worse. His dad needs to fight his own battles. He needs to stick up for himself. It's not going to come from anywhere else except for whenever he just gets the balls to do it himself. Oh my God, this is wild. Oh, they don't know what a skateboard is. Oh no, Lorraine, no, stop. Oh, <gasps> Oh, dude. They're going to catch up for sure. Ram him. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> so smart. Oh, that makes me happy. Yes. Yes. Yuck as well. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate for them. I'm going to get that son of a bitch. Oh, no. Where does he come from? Where does he, come from? Where does he live? Know, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> oh, my God. She is. I'm going to. I was going to say something inappropriate. Just then. If you know, you know. Run for 
<laughs> now he knows he dies. Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint. What? It looks amazing. Spending it over the street between these two lampposts. Okay. Release. Oh, oh no, it didn't go well. It did not go well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's tracked him down. That is crazy. She is downright chasing him now. Never chased a boy, my butt. Oh my god. Oh, she's a little stalker. If you'd ask me to the enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday. Why is she talking like this? Enchantment under the sea list on Saturday. No. No. Not yet. This is actually genuinely so awkward. Look, you're not gonna be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy O. Dad, Dad, Daddy O. <laughs> Daddy O. She's gonna get very angry with me. Why yes, make her angry. You? Nice girls get angry when nice take advantage of them. Oh! 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 Oh no! It's just an act. Oh okay. no! He just I needs to be mean. That won't work either. Hey you! Get your damn hands off her! <laughs> if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. That's really nice and wholesome. I really gotta miss you, Marty. Aw, such a cute I really dog. Miss you. Oh, don't say that. About the future. No! <laughs> Marty! Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Your friend, Marty. Oh, what nice handwriting he has. It's not like I've never parked before. What? <laughs> He's getting the shock of his life about his mother. Whoa! Lorraine, Lorraine, what are you doing? You shouldn't drink. Why not? You might regret it. Oh, because she's an alcoholic. He's gonna need some, to be fair. Jesus, you smoke too? You're beginning to sound just like my mother. <laughs> this could work because, like, if if she's getting turned off by Marty right now, this could work. Oh, he should just say he's got a micro. Have you ever? I think I know exactly what you I mean. I wonder if he finds her attractive. I don't worry. Oh God! No! No, dear God! Please, no! 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 <laughs> this is all wrong. Oh, wow. She just feels it in her. I kiss you like I'm kissing my brother. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, no, it's Biff. 300 bucks damage to my car, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Well, look at what we have here. Piss off, Biff. Oh my god, he's such a freak. What kind of person is he? And they're just all watching? Oh, is he gonna assault her? Why is this okay with all of his friends? This don't concern you. Uh, I think it does. Oh! Oh, you better get wrecked. Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? What? inside the boot or the trunk as americans call it. what the hell dude <gasps> you gotta save her she's being you guys know the rest oh no i think you got this... the wrong car mcfly this ain't a part of the plan you gotta do something Help me. Just turn around, McFly. she's literally being violated she doesn't want it no biff you leave her alone yes finally <laughs> Oh, I would literally get out of the car if I was Lorraine. Come on, do something. Do something, George. God, he's so violent. Come on, do it, dude. Do it. Yes. Well done, George McFly. Oh, my God. Stop acting, acting like that. Just be normal. Now, everything is all good. He saved his own life. Kiss. I guess they're gonna kiss inside, inside the dance. Yay! Come on, come That's back. George what? McFly? What the hell is happening? No music. They can't right. Dance. If they can't dance. They can't kiss. If they can't kiss, they can't fall in love, and I'm history. Unless oh, you know somebody no. else that can play the guitar. <sighs> yes, he can. Hell yeah! There you go. Scram, McFly. What? <gasps> Dude, he just has no handle on life at all. What? He's 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 ceasing to exist. He's dying. Come on, George, man up! God damn it! Oh no, he's ceasing to exist, dude. He's literally fading away. Excuse me. Yes, finally. <coughs> Hurry up and kiss him. God damn it! <sighs> finally, finally. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Woo. Oh yeah. You're like, oh, 
Oh, interesting. This is different. Wow. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Oh, wow. George, this is so cute. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, be good. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> He's having the time of his life as well. <laughs> He's vibing, but people aren't used to this kind of rock and roll. This, they're like, in the 50s, it's just way more chill. People did not do this in the 50s. This is like 80s rock, man. Like, what are you doing, bro? You did too much. <laughs> You rocked a little too hard, man. Everybody thinks you're a freak. Too early for that. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. El Elvis. Elvis brought that. That was, a, that was an Elvis thing, like late 60s, 70s. Elvis introduced it, though. The, like, moving of the body. Will we ever see you again? 30 years into the future. Something's going to change. Something is going to change. That was too weird. See you. Oh, I hope he reads that letter in 1985. What? What's happening? Oh, no. 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 God, don't. Oh, God. What is wrong with him? Great, Scott. So much yelling in this film. Oh, my gosh. He can't hear you. Oh probably gonna die now <laughs> oh my gosh he's gonna die he has to save the doc himself i reckon yeah don't die oh. more time more time save him literally yeah perfect that's what i was saying the whole time oh my god oh my god there's something wrong this is just so chaotic dude oh my gosh i'm literally i have so much anxiety this man is gonna die right now oh my gosh oh my gosh oh how the hell oh my gosh oh i can't watch this oh no dude the tree the freaking tree dude oh I'm gonna pass out from anxiety. <laughs> oh no, dude! Ah! <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally me. The doc is me. <laughs> this shock. Oh, this is bad. Connect it. Jump down. Well, don't jump down, but get down safely and then reconnect it. Hurry up! By the way. Yes. Or swing down. There's an idea. Come on! 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, is the dog okay? Oh, he's alive. That's okay. He must be feeling so amazing right now to know this is all because of him. Yeah, yeah. He's a genius. Super cold, super smoky. Should have done it like two hours earlier. Well, he had his skateboard. Steal a car, GTA style. Oh, it's... It's already happened. There's a version. There's two versions of him, though. Aren't they supposed to, like, collide? Oh, right. And then he goes back into the... Yeah, back to the past. And then, yeah, whoops. Might be... What? He must have kept your note. He must have retrieved the note. Did he, like, put it back together or something? Oh, he did. Screwing up future events. The space time continue. Exactly. Well, I figured. What the hell? just in time as the right as the movie's ending changes his mind dad's personality must be different which would have influenced his personality right and then maybe that affects who his girlfriend is like there's so many different avenues here is this is very sophisticated i always wear a suit to the office wow life's changed for them why were you cheating <laughs> no. oh look at his dad <sighs> <laughs> he's rich he's a money maker this is weird isn't tonight the night of the big day oh Aren't you he's still dating her tonight? you've been planning it for two weeks he's so open with her the car's wrecked 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 uh, 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 <laughs> obviously didn't happen <gasps> Biff, look at him i'm sorry mr mcfly i, I mean i was uh, <gasps> on the second coat 
Yeah, Look at that! If it wasn't for him. We never would have fallen in love. What a story. I think it's your new book! Oh, what? He's published! Oh, wow. Wow! Mind, you can accomplish anything. He's saying that now to him. Keith. <laughs> Look at that. His entire personality is different. Oh, wow. The car that he always wanted. His life drastically oh, improved. Oh, distance okay? makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, oh yeah. his parents are so in love. How wholesome is this? Just as I say that. What the heck now? Marty. Uh. Well, bring it along. Wow. This is... This not plutonium. What happens to us in the future? Them assholes. <laughs> what? Something has got to be done about your kids. Oh, they have kids? Why does everybody in one single relationship end up married? God, I want to live in 1985. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, flying cars is still not a thing. You know what's actually funny to me? Rick is actually related to Morty. I don't know how marty mcfly knows the dog does anyone know how they know each other how they became friends how they have formed this relationship it's kind of strange because he's just like some random crazy scientist dude at least with rick sanchez he's related to morty and also i just realized morty and marty sound super similar sidetracked but let me know in the comments do you know how that relationship even formed it's probably not mentioned maybe it is in the future films which i definitely can't remember but if it is and you remember let me know in the comments i really enjoyed this film i knew i was going to enjoy it because i remember enjoying it as a kid and i love rick and morty i said that in my introduction and i knew i was going to love the dynamic between marty mcfly and the doc i don't remember all of the weird family stuff that went on i don't remember was it biff yeah i didn't remember biff i didn't remember any of that but I did remember the scene where they were at the clock tower and they were trying to get the electricity to go through. So I definitely remember that and I remember Marty and I remember the duck. I had no recollection of all this like weird incesty type story and him potentially not existing and him destroying so much of the past by getting overly involved. I didn't remember any of that. So watching this as an adult was really nice because it was as though I was watching it for the first time, but also it was super familiar at the same time because of the characters and the concept. Everybody knows that this is the movie where they go back into the past and, and go into the future. Actually, yeah, they mainly just went into the past. Like the, the second movie they go into the future, that one will be really interesting. The second one will be really interesting because 30 years into the future is 2015. And it'll be interesting to see their idea of 2015 back then. I feel like because they were like, there are flying cars. I'll probably just end up laughing a lot about their ideas of 2015, but it'll be interesting regardless. I'll be, I'd be keen to see that because I think I've probably watched the second and the third movie like once as well. So my memory for those movies will be even less than my memories for the first movie. So I'd be keen for that as well. Let me know if you guys would be keen for that as well. Yeah, this movie was just super funny. I just found the doc's reactions to everything just hilarious. Like he's such an animated person. He's so expressive in the way that he experiences joy or shock. It's just hilarious to me because I can relate to that so much. I'm super animated and expressive. When I have an emotion, I wear it on my sleeve. And so I related to the doc quite a bit. And then Marty as well, his whole storyline was really wholesome actually, because he went into the past to help his dad gain his confidence. So he set himself up for success in the future because he comes back into the present, I should say, in 1985 and his family are so much better off. His mother's not an alcoholic and all of his siblings are super successful. His dad is super successful. They live in a really fancy house. Everything looks a lot different now. They're not just glued to the TV. They're a lot more sophisticated. He has the car of his dream. He still has his girlfriend who loves him very much. And then you find out that they end up together at least for the next 30 years. So it is quite wholesome. That entire storyline, I didn't remember. So it was really, really nice 
he went back and he just helped his dad so much. And even though he could have very easily just been super mean to his mom and not have stepped in because it was his mother, he wanted to protect her. He wanted to stand up for her. And all of that just made Lorraine fall for Marty more and more and more. It was just so awkward and weird to watch, but it made sense from Lorraine's point of view because she just sees this guy as this knight in shining armor and she probably sees herself as this damsel in distress and he's just trying to do the right thing by his mother but also he just gets overly involved in every situation he just really needs to take a step back so hopefully this situation taught him a lesson on what not to do in the future if they ever have to go back into the past it's weird because in the next movie, they do go to the future and we do know that. But hopefully this was a good lesson for him to never get involved ever again. One thing I am very glad that the doc did was repair that letter because that saved his life. And if he wasn't around, we would not have a second and a third movie. So very grateful for that. I guess he just got too curious as scientists do. They're quite curious people. And Marty as well is quite similar to Morty, probably just less dorky and less unattractive and weird. <laughs> I know that's like kind of a mean thing to say, but it's fine. He's just an animated, animated fake character. Marty's definitely more charismatic and more magnetic, but he's also just a really nice guy and the girls love him. The only thing that I found super similar to him and Morty from Rick and Morty was the sidekick element, this devotion to his partner, which I thought was really nice. Like this devotion and love. When he saw the doc dying, he wanted to do everything to stop that event from happening. And because of his letter, it saved the doc's life. So I really loved that as well. It was just such an entertaining film. I laughed a lot. I was invested in all the characters. I was invested in the storyline. There's literally nothing that I can think of to fault this movie. Literally nothing that I can think of. I just enjoyed it from start to finish. Let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. For the uncut version, you can find that over on Patreon, which is linked in the description bar and the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. There will be a timer. I can be on one screen. The movie can be on another screen. Down in the description bar in the pinned comments, you can also find all my social media handles. So Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.